Hey, my wife got a W for me, so I'm happy. Oh, what's going on with you two? Jumping Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid, and today we have a topic, some unboxings to do, and about this uh, Air Jordan 4, the black canvas, or actually they're calling it now the black and light steel. That's what they're calling it on sneakers. So, as you guys know, that the sneakers app, they basically postponed this release. It was supposed to be last Friday, Saturday, but at the last minute, like 10 minutes before the release, they moved it to today, Wednesday, and it was a bunch of shenanigans and just all kind of craziness and you know, people were panicking and buckling and stuff like that. So it made this release a lot more difficult than it need to be. You know, like it would have been way more smooth if they could just release it last Saturday with all the in stores and from all the other websites. That way, like, I hate when they do this, when they do everything separate with releases because it makes it way more harder because you have more people on one individual site that kind of causes traffic. Because if you guys saw uh, today, especially on sneakers, like it was kind of like wigging out. It was glitching. It was hard for me to get through. I don't know how my wife got through. She 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 gets more W's than I do nowadays. I end up taking all L's, uh, even on GS sizes. Wifey actually got a W, but she got a size seven and a half. I guess it's because her gender is a female, so they put it as women's size. I told her to go for a size nine. She went for a size nine in women's, which is equivalent to a men's seven and a half. Hey, it's all good. A W is a W. I saw a lot of people, majority of a lot of people end up taking L's. I think the best way a lot of people was, was able to get was last week on like JD Sports, like their EA. That was probably everyone's best bet. Or, or just however way they can. But like it was pretty tough on sneakers today. Just because I feel like everyone's going after these things. Like everybody. Remember I just made like a hold and sell video. Panic or patience. And these things kind of went up after the sneaker release. I kind of saw that coming. But I didn't think they were going to go up like this man. Um, They're pretty high right now. So as I was telling you guys. If you guys do have, have pair in hands. In my opinion, and what I would do, I still say it's a good sell now and buy back later. Eventually, I think the price will settle down to like mid 200s to high 200s, in my opinion, just because, you know, there's like over 60,000 pairs on the sneakers release. And there's still more pairs that come through from other uh, websites too. So there's still more pairs out there on the market. So I feel like this shoe will go down in price, but Honestly, after this release, man, it might get a little messed up because the way how sneakers did it. You know, every time when sneakers mess up the release, it caused a little more like panic. And this, right now we're in that more panic and impulse buying and spinning the high on shoes. And I don't want you guys to spend, you know, top dollar when it goes down. I try to make these videos so it will be the best opportunity and the best price point when you can buy it and buy it at the lowest it will be before it does go back up. Because right now it's pretty freaking high man i still say it's a patience it's still patience even though i did end up this weekend i did buy a couple pairs here and there just because hey i'm going to a sneaker event this weekend i will be at the god soul boston god souls and the day after i'll be in bloomington indiana at the sneaker beast event so i'll be in two shows this week i need an inventory i feel like it was a hot shoe so i was like all right let me buy some and i pay a little high but they definitely shot up a little bit man Oh, so I didn't want to buy too heavy. I did buy some though. I just, like I said, so I can go to a sneaker event. I bought like maybe a couple pairs. So big shouts to the uh, people that sent it to me, all GUA and everything. So I got to pay them. Um, big box. I got this from Brittany28. Appreciate you, bro. He always joins the raffles and stuff like that. So I appreciate that. Sent over a big old, got here in like two days. So I appreciate that, bro. We did GUA and everything, meaning GUA gift upon arrival. If you guys ever want to make deals with me, I'm mainly GUA only, unless we've done plenty, plenty deals and I know you and stuff. But I'm mainly GUA only because, you know, I have a rep. I feel like I can do that and I don't, I'm not trying to screw anybody over. So what GUA means is they ship the shoes to me and then I send them the money. So once I check everything, everything's all good, I send you the bread. Easy peasy, all right? So, huh, okay. So you put in like two boxes in here. So I guess he must have double box it. Oh, got two pairs in here. And then we got some extra pairs, which are, like I said, I'm going to a sneaker event. UNC or UCLA Dunks. UC, a lot of Asians. <laughs> no, but hey, shout out to UCLA, shout out to LA. Uh, I need to go back to LA soon. I hope I hope to come back. And got two pairs. 
So might as well, I was like, yo, what else you got? Cash them out a little bit, so appreciate that, bro. Uh, but here it is, this is what we're going. We went after. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I did end up getting four pairs. But yeah, so I did end up getting four pairs. I think I bought them at like, it was like 300 to 280 per pair at the time. So a little bit at market. And then GS, and of course one GS size. Um, three men's and a GS size right here. Always gotta check the GS sizes, man. So, this one's pretty good. Pretty nice. Looking good. All right, so. GS, everything good. I think you got them all for retail, so it was all goody. So anyways, appreciate you, bro. I do got to pay you. I got to check everything out, make sure all the sizes are good, and make sure it's legit, of course. But... So everything was all good. Appreciate that, my guy. Thank you. Uh, Brittany28. And boom, just paid my man right there. So... Anyways, bro, appreciate you. Thank you for doing GUA and everything, man. So that way, uh, you got to check the pairs and, and all that stuff. But I'm glad people can trust me about that. Thank you so much. And and please, on my IG, make sure you comment on my reference and t t let me know that I'm all legit. So appreciate it. And another package from my guy, uh, soulsocial.nyc. We actually uh, met a couple times at a Got Soul event. I think I'm going to see him in Boston. So appreciate that, bro. Sent this over, made a deal over the weekend. All right. Here it is. Bubble wrapped and everything. No card, no nothing. No love note. And this one is a size nine and a half. So cool. All right, again, appreciate. Oh, here it is. Ooh, he gave me a little giffy bag. Look at that. All right, so. Got the receipt uh, from DTLR and gave me some Starburst, bro. Thank you, bro. That is so sweet of you. All right. Feeling my sweet tooth. So make sure you guys follow my guy. Soul Society Society.nyc. Big homie, man. So uh, I, I, I met him a couple times at a Got Soul event like in New York, in Boston. So good guy. Good deals. Appreciate that, bro. But... All right, so let's talk about this release real quick. As I was saying, the price has definitely kind of shot up a little bit. Where I'm seeing prices like at 340, high 300s in some some sizes. Prices were like at low 300s. They're now touching like mid 300s. Size 12 is like going for like 350. Size nine and a half is going for like 340. So yeah, prices went up a little bit, and I do expect prices to drop down. So again, do not panic. Buy. Don't pay the high. Don't pay. 350 for these things i i truly think these things are gonna go touch will touch less than 300 eventually i don't know when maybe in a couple weeks uh but then again maybe because sneakers kind of messed this release up people people are more panicking and panic buying and might cause the, the market to go up so these things could stay up eventually but i just still say if you are trying to buy a pair i would still just wait Keep an eye on the market and see what happens. I mean, you also gotta think we're getting more Air Jordan 4s. We're gonna get the Purple Canyon Air Jordan 4s. We're supposed to be getting the Midnight Navy Jordan 4s. And we're also supposed to be getting the Alma Meniere Air Jordan 4s. That's another hype one. So like, so many Air Jordan 4s, like four already before holiday season. So I just hope that Jordan don't saturate this market and just flood it out with crazy colorways. But hey, when the hype is good, I'm sure Nike's playing on cashing in. So, but anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Jeremy Chris on IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jeremy Chris. Push.